Well, he's born really at 68. Right, right, right. It was he weighed in at like 69, if I'm yeah, not right, mistaken. Right, yeah, yeah, talk, talk to us about about him. A lot of people, obviously, he's now two and zero, correct? Two and zero, burly bucks. He's a young up, up and coming guy. He's pretty good. L likes him a lot. So if Errol really likes him a lot, he sparred with him as well. So you know he's helping him and. He's a good fighter, he's a young, good guy. What, what about him is it that Arrow sees that, that, that you know, catches he's Arrow's a, eye? He, 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 he's been around for a long time, he's really learned, he's really watched, and kind of, you know, so that's kind of really what he's been nurtured, you know, so now it's like he's developing it, so it's time to, you know, go get it now. Hey, Derek, uh, what, saw a, a great interview with uh, Arrow on Boxing Scene talking yeah. about the fight. Right. Obviously, on this side, you got tons of great fights right, to make, right. but when that's done, do you think we will at some point get Crawford Spence? Yeah, Spence no, Crawford? I, I mean, I think it's well, I'm down. Why wouldn't it be? I mean, you know, it's just like everybody's agenda is not, like I said, Al Ham has his, uh, plans and goals. Bob Aaron has plans and goals. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, at this particular point, Bob Aaron's plans and goals have a lot to do with Errol, right? I was, you know, Bob, I mean, Al Heyman's done. Have anything to do with Terrence Crawford. So that's what, but these plans are from, from years ago. You can't live in the present. This is something presently that he's dealing with. But obviously, Al's been playing on this for years, working on this thing for years, developing what he's doing for years. You can't do it on one night and say, okay, it's that. No, there's other things going on. And I mean, I, I have no. I'm not in it. No, nah, obviously Terrence is across the street with Bob. You mentioned that, but Arrow has more options here on this side of the street. Sean Porter, WBC reported that the fight is going to happen next. Um, can you talk about that? And then I don't know about it. So okay. I mean, I, just, I, mean I, I heard about it, but until my people confirm it with me, that's what I'm gonna say it's real. So that's one option. Obviously, yeah. Arrow stepped into right. the ring back in September when he claimed that title, the vacant right. Right. title. Uh, another option is Keith Thurman. Keith Thurman uh, was a fighter that Arrow used to call out years ago before he yeah. was champion. He said, get a strap, wait your turn. Well, now I've, everybody feels like it's Arrow's turn. Why do you think Keith isn't calling him out? Well, I think, first of all, we got to keep him off for two years. Right? When he fought the last kid, he looked good up until the seven round he got hit. Right. I think, from my estimation, I think he's, he needs more fights to get himself back reacclimated, right? But boxing is not that type of situation where they're going to work with you because you're a champ. But you can relinquish your title and get the fights you need and come back. But other than that, being a champ, I don't think they'll let you do that. So I think that's the issue that he's having. And I think he should be allotted that opportunity because the only reason why is because I don't wouldn't want Errol to beat him in the present state. I right. want him to be as close to 100, if not 100%, as, he as can possible get. before they fight. And that's really what I want and desire. If, if I had any anything to do with right. it. So give him, so. To, give him his time to get work back into it and get himself together and be 100%. That's it. There's talks. Keith Thurman, who was a WBC, uh, I'm sorry, WBA, WBA, WBA super, super champion, champ. but yeah. Manny's the WBA regular champ. There's right. talks of that in July. How do you see that fight play out? Uh, they both fought in January. What are your thoughts? I'm just going to look at it as a fan, man. I mean, I don't, I'm, I'm, not, I'm just like, I don't really have any special interest in it. That's for them to be one to one to one to win or whatever. I'm just gonna watch it as a fan. And that's how I'm gonna really enjoy it, you know, as a fan. Like really, and then if after this whatever fight we fight, then we can get on to that fight or whatever. And there, uh, just I think one thing though, fans worry about with Spence and Terrence is, do you think if it gets to 2021, Spence can still make 147? Yeah, man, make the weight easy, man. I mean, that's not the, the weight. Not, the weight is not a problem. Because everyone talks about he's so big for 47. No, he's the, no, he's the right size. Right, right. Mm. All these other guys, the smaller guys moving up, right? It's like Mikey, no different. So people talk about Mikey, but they talk about Chance Crawford. What's the difference? He, he was a middleweight, I mean, what, lightweight champ, yeah. yeah. moving up. Yeah, for yeah. So, and, and Danny Garcia did the same thing. And Mike, so what, think about that. So you can't have one argument to say this guy was too small. But they're basically really about the same size. You know what I mean? So it's, I think it's the same argument, but I think at the same time I think that. You know, I, I hear you. They, they fought in the amateurs and everything. Uh, uh, Terrence and Mikey same weight, but I, I guess people would say. Well, even as a pro, they were both champs at the same weight division. Right, but they would say Mikey started at 26. Well, I, mean, I, I mean, I don't know about that. I just know that at 135 they were champs at the same time. Right. So there's no, there's no difference. Even I mean, to me, it's not. It's, what about Danny Garcia? He was 135 pounds. How big of an ace high do you think Earl Spence is? 70, 30, 60, 40, 65, 35, yeah, Terrence the Crawford? I mean I, don't, I mean, I don't know about the A side, B side. I think it's like, um, I believe the A side, B side is whoever wins the fight. 
Because that's I mean, if you can go in with the idea of you're underdog, not underdog, but whoever wins the fight is the truth. Whatever. Coach, they here's a nice side behind you. You know Rolando Romero? Have you met Rollies yet? No, 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 He's no, a personality. No. What's your record now, Rollies? Uh, nine, nine and no. Eight knockouts. And, and he talks sometimes more than his record. He's very popular. What a Floyd Mayweather fighter just fought last weekend. Uh, his fight, Sent the guy to the hospital. Yeah, literally had to be carried out on the stretcher. <laughs> yeah. On the ring. So, uh, but what do you think about young fighters? Obviously, uh, now with Arrow's promotion, you just had one tonight. Uh, you had a lot of young fighters in camp with Arrow. You got fighters like Charlo and yeah. uh, fighters oh, yeah, that used to be in that. camp uh, like Rob Brandt, right? What do, you, what do you think is necessary for these fighters to be able to develop at the right pace? You know, what's the key? Because we see a lot of times people are really hyping. I don't want to say hyping, but speaking highly on a lot of these prospects. I think that it's about developing them. I mean, and it's a lot of work, a lot of, a lot of uh, focus from the training, a lot of work, a lot of time spent together. Because people really, what is happening, it's the difference between developing a fighter and building a fighter. Building a fighter, you're padding his record, building his record, right? But developing a fighter, you're not only working, doing that, you're focusing on the skill and all the technique and everything needs to be done and handled. That's the difference. So, a lot of times, the hype comes a lot of times from the fighters that are built. And Derek, man, right? I, oh, I didn't know if you were still. Built, yeah. and then, but, 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 but that, the developed fighters, you think about this, they say Earl was hype, but they still don't really kind of give him this kind of, it's just do it, people talking, they're still skeptics. I have no idea why, they're still skeptics. I mean, I think that, I don't know what it's going to take for them to be, you know, he'll be at his retirement party, undefeated like that. Well, he really, you know, so I don't know. I have no idea. Cal Brook wants the rematch. No, he really yeah. doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> Before I let you go, man, just had to ask about Canelo Jacobs. Who, who, how you see the fight? I go for the American fighter every time. Team USA. When I fought in the USA, the USA boxing team, I go for another kid who's from, from America, you know. Team USA. He's, does he got to use, you know, a lot of great uh, American fighters out of that amateur system. They use that lateral movement. Right, right. Is that what he's got to do against Canelo? I don't 12? know. I'm, I'm going to look at it as a fan. I'm mm -hmm. going into these things as fans, so I don't have any personal You, You and Arrow are big fans, big, big boxing fans, because obviously being PBC events, well, that's, those are events within your own uh, promotion or w what have you. But we'll see you like you were at uh, Canelo Triple G, you both yeah, were. Yeah. When you guys are there, do you guys have a scout? Because, I mean, no. obviously a, a lot of fighters, just like Mikey moved up and challenged Earl, a lot of a lot of fans, I'm sorry, would love to see Earl move up to challenge Canelo. Yeah, eventually, that's a possibility. I mean, but that's like so far away. Mm -hmm. I mean, we look at what's in front of us right now, whoever we fight in September or whatever, or whenever. So that's, that's we, I, I believe in taking step by step. I go to the fight. I never scout anybody for what? I mean, I'm there. I'm going to enjoy it. So, I mean, I don't put my personal feelings mm -hmm. into it. I don't want Errol to fight this guy, that guy. I want Errol to fight, I mean, who he wants to fight. Absolutely. I'm just here to help him get to that point and get him in shape and work with his skills. Absolutely. June 23rd? Just to get that. Oh, wait, wait. Go ahead. June 23rd, Jamel yeah. Charlo. How's camp coming? Yeah, man, it's cool, man. It's good, man. I think, I think you know, it's like, um, it's, it's, it's good, man. We're good. Here in mm -hmm. Vegas, right? That's, that, that's what we're hearing. I mean, I don't know. I don't know, but I'm not in there. But you got to read Y'all got to read He gave, he dropped some tea leaves by accident, y'all. <laughs> y'all picked it up. Yeah. But I'm just saying that, you know. How are you going to keep such a high-strung athlete so composed? Because me being a former collegiate athlete, if I lose to a guy or a team, it was basketball. Yeah. You want to? We play them twice a season in the league. Yeah. You want to get back? And Jamel Charles, so high strung, very engaged. How are you going to reel him back well, man, to stay it, to the? It's, it's a process. You know what mm -hmm. Okay. Like when, and, and it's, it's an understanding of yourself. Mm -hmm. when you know what you're doing. You know who you are. You don't really get caught up in that. You know. We're not even talking about that other thing. It's the first fight. Mm -hmm. It's not, it's not, we're not talking about what happened. It's the first fight right here. I'm not mentioning it. You know, it's over because that doesn't even matter anymore. That thing is like done, right? So I'm just talking about what's coming up now, what's next. That's, 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 the, that's the, it's the first fight. Mm -hmm. So you said uh, you didn't catch the Terrence Crawford fight last weekend. Danny, J uh, I'm sorry, Danny Garcia. I watched that fight. You yeah. did. Uh, what were your thoughts on that performance? Obviously, Sean Porter uh, previously fought Granados, as did Adrian Broner. Uh, what were your thoughts on the performance, or what did you think of the fight? Man, I think he did good, man. I think he did good. I mean, he did what he was supposed to do. I mean, he did what none of the other guys were able to do. That's right. 
So, yeah, 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 I, I think that was, I think that was dope.